Hi Leo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo message. Could be for you. Take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need access to is down below in the description box. So we've got my website link, Instagram handle, And I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you have been here and supported the channel. Uh, let's see what's, let's just do an energy check and see what kind of message wants to come out for you guys today. I am, you are watching me shuffle. These are the cards that are pulling out. <laughs> and we have... Oops. All right, servant. <laughs> okay. All righty roo. Um, in general, you might be in a position, Leo, where you are serving others with a free and loving heart. This could be something that's energetically going to counteract another challenging situation that you've been dealing with. You could have a person here who's a bit of a bully. Yeah, I've been seeing this in general in the messages, so this could be the foundation of something. Could you please stay or not? There we go. <laughs> it's probably gonna move again. Okay. Yeah, look at the complete opposite energy because, yeah, this is nice. Entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold delight and sharing life's riches. Hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. So this could be a solution here um, to energetically open yourself up if there's any kind of fear-based thing here of holding on. That could be somehow affecting a situation because, yeah, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life. So there could be something about shifting out of that state. Some of you guys also could be dealing with a, a miser. Miser is a person who like holds on to things out of fear, you know, or doesn't release things. That could be some energetic reflection where you're breaking out of that pattern in some significant way. And it could be because of this situation over here. Because we've got a bully and an athlete. I didn't even... Okay, so... Dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. But this person is bullying. Apparent, okay, apparently. So this is like an expression of Mars that I've been seeing in general. And, and so some of you guys... You might need to protect yourself energetically or there's someone here that is energetically protecting themselves from this person. Um, this could be a person here that is like an elite in some way. They could be doing certain things that could come across as exploitative or anything like that. Um, also on the really uh, crazy side of this is that Look, that could be the frequency thing that is like attracting some of these situations. For those of you, if you feel like this resonates, that could be the foundation of something. Like um, doing something different than maybe other people that you feel like are hoarding, like trying to counterbalance that or just be very generous or charitable in some way give of your time and energy without any expectation we have the king of wands in reverse all right so king of wands reverse obviously can be a fire sign so that could be aries possible leo and then a sag leo um Okay, we have the moon, and then we have the two of swords. Uh, 
Um, let me get some more cards on this because I'm thinking on a couple of things, but I just want to be sure. Ooh, dang. Yep, I mean, it, it confirms the thing I was going to say. So there's a Five of Swords. Pentacles. Ooh. I've got the King of Cups. I'm um maybe there is a don't get too caught up on gender situation here because we, the King of Cups can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We definitely have a strong water element here. This could be emotional maturity or a person here in the environment that's being very helpful um, toward this challenging situation here. Ah, Eight of Wands. This could be messages and communications that are coming across. Ooh, ooh. was on the bottom and it's in the reverse. Woof. Okay, so this could be testing your willpower at this time. Or there's someone here that could be developing strength in a particular way. So I think that I'm going to say that to you, Leo. All right. So you could be dealing with a person and I was going to wait a bit before these cards came out. Let me show you what fell on the floor. Again, didn't make that up. These literally fell on the floor. So there's a ten of swords. There's been a painful ending. Okay. And then we've got the page of wands. I don't know. Do I want to say that's you? There's something about... I cannot believe how many fire sign cards came out. We have the Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands is in reverse, so that's nice. And then we have the Temperance right there. All right. Okay, so there's a person here that could actually be an athlete and they look like they are a... Um, they've been bullying. They could be coming across as abusive. And um, maybe it's this King of Wands reverse. Because King of Wands can definitely be a person that's like very, very physically attractive. And so there was a bully somewhere in this environment. I'm not totally sure. Like who's who or what's what and there was this really trippy mirroring experience that took place because of the moon yeah that can be lack of boundaries but that's also kind of like intuition and mirroring it's like subconscious stuff so here's what happened i feel like um there was a connection here there's definitely two energies and whatever was going on in this partnership King of Wands reverse to me, I mean, like, I think most readers would say that could be a player, but I always am like, um, there can be like a sexual side to this with the King of Wands reverse. So this person could be gaslighting, abusive, and that's why I was waiting to see what else would come out because this Two of Swords can be like, um... It can be indecisiveness, especially in this scenario. If there's gaslighting involved, then this can be a person here that's legit going through cognitive dissonance, which will be very tricky for external people that are in the environment because they might see this person to be um, kind of like different here, but there's been abuse. So that's why I was waiting to see what else would come around because this card can definitely have different meanings depending on the surrounding energies. Okay, so 
it looks like you could have experienced this from this person and um, felt like they there, there could have been an actual interaction that you had with them and you could have felt like gaslighting is a breach of boundaries and because in the moment that it happens when you doubt yourself or when you become confused it's the it's the way that a person tries to energetically stay connected to you or um make you question yourself and this person um i wonder if you're really working hard on something or just work in general you could be resourceful at this time just working with what you have and trying to kind of get ahead in this situation or to better your circumstances um and this also could be tied definitely to financial too developing a skill right now and i feel like this could be talking about your willpower and strength definitely There's a King of Cups here in the environment. <laughs> Are they on a boat? Maybe they're on a boat waiting for communications or waiting to hear about an ending. This King of Cups is waiting to hear of something ending. Just taking a moment here. I feel like if you have interacted with this masculine, oh, that's what it was. So there's this person here that you guys could deal with. Maybe this is a current person that's coming into your space. This person could be very strong and they care a lot about, like they are energetically and physically very strong. But I I do get this feeling that you had an interaction with them where they did something subtle or slight enough that you just like picked up on it that it was um meant to confuse you but that's how this person like i said they were trying to get energetically connected with you um this person the thing that they see about you is that you are trying to um like gain find out or that you're trying to accomplish something that you're trying to gain self-mastery in some kind of situation eight of pentacles is like you're trying to work on something and it's not quite perfected yet especially the page of wands so there could be some kind of development that you're learning right now it could be based around creativity uh, and like passion like a uh, channeling that to create some kind of elevation in your life at this time um, the other strange scenario here is that I wonder if these two masculines are tied to one another. Are they? There's a king of cups here. They could like to be around water or that's like very valuable to them. They could be receiving messages or communications. And there was something here about there was a person that could have been testing loyalties or testing to see if someone was going to kind of like give into a situation because the end result would have been a ten of swords where this person could have been wanting to um like there have been really strange dynamics like that i feel like you could be 
seeing the situation as it is, even though you could feel like there's something in your life that's still developing, but you have willpower. Like that, I feel like is the thing being tested here is your willpower. And to kind of accept or make peace where you are. And you could just be in general choosing your peace or choosing what feels more peaceful at this time rather than going in and dealing with this situation. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Leo. Let me dive into the extended. <laughs> we'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below. Click on the Vimeo link. See it over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.